Okay, so in this presentation we're going to show you um, very easily how to do the LAMS and Moodle integration. For starts, we have a Moodle 2.2.1 server here, and, and this is just uh, straight out of the box, so nothing fancy on it. And what we need to do is just first is download the LAMS integration module to Moodle, or the LAMS plugin. Here you can find the LAMS plugin in the wiki.lamsfoundation.org website. Once you get to the downloads page, click on the integration tab, and you'll find here the LAMS, the Moodle 2 um, integration module. So what you need to do is just copy this link. I'm currently running Moodle on a Unix box. So what I'll do is I'll go to my Unix box and first download this module. Once that I have downloaded, I go to my Moodle forward slash mod directory where I have all my modules and then I simply unzip this module that I just downloaded into it. So what you'll see now is that in the Moodle mod directory you have a LAMS lesson module. If I go back to Moodle now and I go to the admin page, just reload it here, it would automatically take that there's a new module and therefore it would ask me to upgrade. So go ahead with the upgrade and be successful. Alright, so the next step is basically configure this Moodle module to talk to LAMS. Now here a LAMS server which is going to be integrated with Moodle. So I'm logging as sysadmin in order to configure the integration. So on this end, what I need to do is go to the sysadmin menu and then to maintain integrated service. Now what we're going to do is create a new integrate, integrated service and we're going to call this, the ID that we're going to use is Moodle and the key which is the most important um, aspect to keep private on both servers which is the key that is used to hash the information that is sent back and forth between these two servers so the security of your integration depends on on this key so I'm just going to type some random characters here and we'll call my Moodle put some description make some prefix can leave the disabled thing off as I want this to be enabled and the URLs that you need for this are essentially on the wiki page that I showed you before on the instructions. So what I'll do is I just modify pre-existing URLs with my URL for my new server, which is in this case moodle.lamsfoundation.org. Moodle so I'm just modifying these URLs to make sure. They all look the same, and right after that, we'll save, and we'll move on to Moodle, just to check that this is actually working. So, I enter all the URLs as required, now I click on save, and I can see now that LAMS has, uh, is aware of another server that is called my Moodle that we're actually doing this. Now, let's jump to Moodle straight away. And now this is here where we would configure the settings for the LAMS server. And as you can see, we have the ID and the key that we just sent us. So I'm just going to work with the key. Just make sure that we have the same key. Just copy directly from Moodle. Copy the Moodle ID. And now the URL. So the URL that we're using for this particular server is lambs.lambs. Foundation for Labs. Yeah. Now we're going to click on save. And just to be um, overly cautious, what we can do is go to the plugins, click on admin modules, activity modules, select the LAMS lesson, and you'll see now that there's a settings validation just to make sure whether the settings that we have entered here match the server and uh, the settings that we enter in, in LAN. So if I click on here, it says validation successful, we're ready to start. So that's basically how you configure it. Now the integration is ready to go.